we have a plan to grow this campus to 10,000 students in 10 years. We have about 63, 6,700 students now. We have two residence halls. They are full this year. I don't know if you realize, but we have almost 100 students living at the Hilton because we could not accommodate them here on campus. So we expect that to meet those enrollment goals, we'll be looking at adding another residence hall in three years. Um, and we're looking at adding um, new programs and um, doing facelifts on the existing buildings that we have um, if we can't um, afford new ones at this point. So there, our strategic plan is kind of really our North Star and it is guiding everything that we're doing from infrastructure to student success. And this is really the last question. The, uh, the idea of establishing an identity separate from USF um, while still being part of the system. What, what, what's, what are the challenges there? So I think the beauty of the USF system is that each of the campuses, each of the institutions is so different. Sarasota is different from St. Pete and God knows we're different from Tampa. And so I think the system offers parents and students choices. We are more the small college, private, um, university feel. Uh, whereas Tampa uh, has the excitement and the vast resources of a large university. If you walk into USC, it is packed with students watching the Bulls game. And that's the connection. Um, so it's great to be part of a nationally recognized big name university that offers all those resources. Everything from business services to Bull Pride. So I think it's the, kind of the best of both worlds. This building that I'm standing right in front of was not here. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't have a volleyball court, we didn't have basketball courts, we didn't have offices for our student government, our Office of Multicultural Affairs. We are scattered all over the place. We're building a KT Tiedemann College, a business building, which is gonna be incredible. Uh, none of that was here. I came here, it was pretty much like a, a bit of a naked campus, and now it's grown so much in the last four years. We've grown, I, I saw pictures from 50 years ago, and like this place was nothing like it is today streets running through the campus and all this kind of a thing and nowadays we you know we're building a real campus culture here where people love to be a part of it so it's not just the buildings being added to the campus but it's also the culture of the campus is changing to be that real college atmosphere what do you think that does for students as well as the recruitment of future students well I can tell you like students when they come to college they want a certain level of experience when they come to a university and now we're starting to really deliver that you know we're having summer programming mentorship going around these things weren't offered when I first came here and we have a tutoring center with like full functioning like they'll teach you math English whatever and these things, like this is this is what college students, it's not just what they want, but it's what they need to go ahead and be successful. So with our university changing and the recruitment of future students, we're offering more resources to ensure their success. And ultimately, that's what college is all about. You want to succeed here.